Yo, what's up everybody? Today, um, I'm starting another series. I'm starting two series that is going to alternate uh, alternate every other day. So, I'm going to have my VGC 2018 prep, uh, which is Battle Spot Doubles. And then, on the next day, I'm going to be having just regular VGC 2017. So, to kick it off, uh, we're going to start off um, the first episode with... Wolf Gleek's team, it's on the screen right now, it will also be in the description if you want to use it. So yeah, so I'm going to go find some battles, we're going to do two battles like I used to do, and yeah. Hopefully we can find the battle, there we go. So the uh, the opponent, um, turn that down because I'm not sure how loud it is for you. But the opponent has Snorlax, Tapu Koko, Celesteela, Garchomp, Gyarados, and Marowak. Um, so yeah, I haven't played a lot of VGC 2017, so I'm not the best at it. But yeah. I think I'm going to lead off with Cortana and... Uh, And Tapu Finny? Do I want Tapu Finny? I really have a feeling he's using uh, Gyarados. So I'm going go to I'm gonna go Cortana and uh, Togo tomorrow. And I really do want uh, our K9 in the back. So I'll probably just slap in Tapu Finny. Because definitely need a Tapu. So he does lead off with Gyarados and Celesteela. Um... And that minus attack is not good for uh, Kartana. Uh, we do have a Bloom Doom, but you know we don't know exactly what he's gonna do. Uh, so I'm just gonna protect and uh, fake out the Celesteela. I'm not sure Celesteela can't really do anything. Yeah, I'll fake out the Celesteela. Okay, so he he fake uh or switches the Gyarados and the Marowak. Fake out. Uh, perfect turn, basically. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to uh, switch out Cortana. I don't know if he's going to use a fire move or what. And he does have... The odds are he has Lightning Rod on his Marowak. You know. He probably used it so I couldn't electrocute or whatever. Uh, or use an electric move. So right now... Really not sure. I think I'm gonna switch out into our K9. But I'm thinking maybe Finny. I'm not hundred percent sure. Feel better with uh K9 and then uh I could spiky shield. Uh yeah, spiky shield. That's the best I can do. So we get in, we get an intimidate off, which is pretty good on the Marowak. Yeah, Celesteela <laughs> Dang. Used Iron Defense. So Celestia is definitely going to be very bulky. So, I don't know. I'm in a situation where I'm not 100% sure what I should do. I think I'm just going to Flare Blitz the Celestia. And... I'm not sure. I could Encore the Celestia also. But that defense... Would be madness, really. Uh, but then that's all it can do. So yeah, I'll, I'll do use encore. And flare blitz. That recoiled though. And gonna boomerang, which is definitely gonna knock out the Togo tomorrow. Uh, but I, I'm gonna uh, get Tapu Finny in there, and I'm gonna flare because. Celesteela can't use, you know, a grass move. Um, not like they really even have one, but it can't leech. Seed. I don't even remember. But uh, I'm just going to Flare Blitz and Muddy Water? Should I Muddy Water? Um, he might have Gyarados in the back. Or no, he has Gyarados, but he, he might have Garchomp maybe. 
I'm thinking of Snorlax or Tapu Koko actually. Uh, so I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. This is choice, so yeah, I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. Okay, I should have already watered actually, but whatever. Um, okay, so Steela didn't uh die, so that's kind of bad. But he misses the Boomerang, which is really awesome on me. Uh. I'm gonna extreme speed and then I have to switch it to a Cortana right now because I definitely don't want my Tapu Fini to be locked into Dazzling Gleam. Oh my, yo, that bulky, that bulky Celesteela <laughs> with Iron Defense. Fire K9 still alive. Um, I'm pretty much pretty good right now. I think he might predict that I will. Extreme speed. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna double protect, I guess, or protect and detect, just to be uh, kind of on the safe side. So he toxic the RK9 and boomerang Cortana or boomerang RK9. So I'm gonna extreme speed and I don't know. I really do want to get Marowak out, but I'm just gonna switch back into Finny. So Celesteel is down. And Bomarang's RK9, which should die. Oh, the Magu Berry. <laughs> Forgot about the Magu Berry. Or Mago Berry. I'm not sure how to exactly pronounce that. So Gyarados is on the field. I really just want to knock out Marowak so I can get my Kartana in safely. And I am uh, do got choice specs. But I'm going to protect RK9. Which I can do, yeah. Because I think uh, I use Muddy Water, knocks out Marowak, protect RK9 for next turn, so then I can switch out Tapu Fini one more time. So I don't get locked into Muddy Water, like if I really don't need it. Like I might need Dazzling Gleam, especially if he's got Garchomp. So, oh my god, bro. That is crazy. The Muddy Water missed a Marowak. Man, that is incredible. We could try and go for a double protect, but I don't. I don't really want to get you know too cocky. So I'm not. I don't know. I mean, Cortana can definitely knock out Gyarados, but do I want to sacrifice our canine? That's the question. I, I'll just extreme speed the Gyarados and Muddy Water one more time. Hopefully, we can knock out the Marowak. I just want to knock out the Marowak. Okay, so Marowak is done. Gyarados has two attack uh, and two... Oh, man. I didn't see the speed. I forgot about the speed. That's definitely going to be trouble. Because I think Cartana does outspeed Gyarados most of the time. But... I don't know. Yeah, it should definitely sp outspeed Cartana. I mean, Gyarados. But now with the speed, the speed boost, that is not good. So, Tapu Koko. He might go for a water move. So, okay. Okay, he forfeit. So that's actually really good for me. I'm pretty sure I, I, I probably would have lost, actually. But, okay, so we're going to go find one more battle because the series is two battles. Um, I'm doing the same thing uh, on DS cartridge, but for battle spot, doubles, not just VGC 2017. So, the opponents got Lele, Crocodile, Ninetales, Vickavolt, Garchomp, or not, or Gyarados, and Marowak. So... Maybe a crocodile Vicavolt combo. One thing is not a hundred percent, but most of the time, 
they always bring their Tapu. So, expect Tapu Lele. But, um... Yeah, I really do want to bring Mimikyu in this match. And I really want Cartana also. And, I mean, you you just can't go wrong with Finny and Arcanine. Or with, with your Tapu. And Arcanine's just... You know, it's just good. So I'm going to lead off with Cartana and uh, Arcanine and have Mimikyu and Finny in the back. Hopefully that's great. Uh, so he leads off with Crook, Crookedile and Vikavolt. Uh, so we did get Intimidate off. It's just good on the Crookedile. Not sure. I mean, odds are he's going to Earthquake Discharge. But he possibly could protect the Crocodile. But, you know what? I'm just going to be cocky and use Bloom Doom on the Crocodile. And, uh, helping, I could Helping Hand, but I'm just going to Protect, actually. So he switches, but he doesn't use Protect. Uh, this should be enough to knock out. Crocodile. Yep. And we get a uh, Beast Boost, which is pretty good. Even though he does have Marowak. Which is definitely not good. So. I think I want to detect. And get Finny in there. Because if I get Finny, I can definitely pressure uh, his Marowak. So that seems better, in my opinion. Oh, Shattered Psych, but it wasn't enough. Um, I don't know. I'm probably, I'm definitely probably slower uh, than Lele. So I'm not sure what I want to do. Cartana should be faster than Lele, though, so Smart Strike. Uh, I don't think he's going to Oko, but we can definitely get that on there, and I could Muddy Water or Scald. Um, probably better off Scalding, actually, with the Marowak. That's what I'm, I'm going to do, that so smart straight. Man, I should have Muddy Watered. I could have uh, knocked both of them out, but a Moonblast on a Cartana, which lowers our special attack, which doesn't matter. So I'm feeling pretty good because we knocked out two of their Pokemon already. Lele's going to die right now. Unless he protects, but whatever. Invicavolt. I'm just going to Scald, really. I don't really need Tapu Fini that much. N none of his Pokemon that he could have. Um, or These are his only Pokemon he has. And none of them I really need Fini in. And Mimikyu would do really good. So I'll just attack Invicavolt. So this is going to protect his Lele, of course, and Vikavolt's probably going to knock him out. Uh, we do get a burn, though, but that doesn't really matter that much. Um, I mean, it's going to, of course, knock out his health, but he's special, so it didn't really affect him as much. But I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to uh, detect... And I'll Shadow Ball the Vicavolt. And I'll get, er, I should I should knock out the Lele, actually. Since I know for a fact he can't protect. Oh, a double protect from Lele? Is that a double? That's a double protect from Lele. The odds, man, the odds. When I was a uh, smart strike a Shadow Ball. Uh, Lele, because he's definitely not protecting this this turn, and this should pretty much guarantee a win. I mean, you know, s stuff does happen, so, you know, but the burn, I don't think the burn will knock it out. Uh, it might actually. Yeah, the burn's not going to, but with Arcane 9 and Mimic Q, there's really not much Vikavolt can do. I mean, I could just protect and taunt. 
Okay. So anyway, uh, we won both our battles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing uh, a ton of these episodes. I'm going to start uploading uh, daily or bi-daily at least. And yeah, I'm, I'm making my return. And I'll definitely have some more movesets when VGC 2018 officially comes out. But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.